Ever since that first bus ride, I started asking myself, why do I have to go so far away in order to get a high quality education? Like, why? I don't understand. We are a group of minority students going to these white suburban towns, hoping for a better education. When you leave, people would need it when they arm at 5 o'clock in the morning, ride the rest of the way to bus out to Lexington and you're in school with a bunch of white kids and, and white teachers. You would go from the inner city to an affluent school system. The whole experience gave me one vital thing, how to deal with other people that were different from you. People have all these stereotypes about us. Like, when they'll start a beat, expect you to rap, but that just wasn't me. There was a point where I was like, it was like having two Fatimas. I feel like a weird disconnect, like I don't fit in in either spots. When I'm out in Weston, I try to make sure that I speak as well as I can because I don't want to be that black. My parents made it very clear there's probably no reason that I should be in Lexington unless I'm in school or I'm making up a test, meet with a teacher of sports. You know, just be careful where you are. Be careful what you do, because you know if something happened, they're coming to get you. Whatever the majority image is, that's what the standard is. Yeah. And so everyone looked pale-skinned, blonde hair. I am not that. When I wear my natural hair out, mm -hmm. I feel like I get less likes yeah. than what I do when, like, if my hair were to be straightened. Mm -hmm. I felt very vulnerable mm -hmm. and exposed. My depression was most severe between my eighth grade and 10th grade years. Throughout that period of time, I tried to attempt suicide 12 times. I've seen one black substitute in my school for the four years that I've been going there. We don't have enough resources to help us when we are struggling through school. Also, I think that they're using us just to have that little spark of diversity. I'm one of 6% in my school. I felt like the only time I existed in the classroom was in February, and when we decided to learn about the Civil War and slavery. You mean to tell me that's the only time I exist? It was like we live two lifestyles. You live two different, different You know, lifestyles. you live your home, hood, black, whatever you want to call it, you know, you know your city life. Mm -hmm. and dealing with you and me, mm -hmm. and everybody like us, and then you get on a bus, drive 20 miles, and bang, it's a whole nother world. It's taken me so long to realize that I'm just one person. If I don't know like all the street lang language and or I don't like portray myself as like the stereotypical black girl mm -hmm. in school or at home, they don't like me because I'm not like them. It's just like, hey, throw the deuces up. <laughs>